Welcome to another card pickup video. Here's some of the cards that I got. I got a really good deal. So first I'll start off with this. Uh, this was something I found at Frankenson's. Got it for $3. And it's just a orange color match Buster Posey. Pretty cool for $3, but seven out of seven. So very rare card, hard to find, but really nice player pretty happy about this and on ebay there's none recently sold so this this card made me realize like it's i really want to find these rare cards that you just can't find on ebay you can't find recently sold for and just hard to find cards for three dollars i think that's really worth um if i hold keep holding it find another buster posey enthusiast they would definitely find some interest in this for over $3. So this one is actually for my personal collection. I just really like him as a player and a future Hall of Famer for sure. So just wanted to keep that for myself. And then this whole pickup, I got a really good deal. I think I've created a decent relationship with the guy at uh, Jimmy's. And he's been hooking it up the past couple times. So this is definitely just off a deal that, a personal deal, I guess. So I got it all for $5, which is a really good deal. Um, this is the one that's going to be carrying most of the weight. But this itself is already like a $5 card. So pretty much I got this for like $4 and everything else for like $0.05 cents each. So I got a really good deal on this, I'd say. And I feel like... The, I'm realizing that that's becoming more of the move is to just create good relationships with people who have an abundance of cards. Maybe in, in a lot of these cards, he doesn't really hold too much value in, so he doesn't mind moving for a cheap price. And by him giving me a good deal, he knows I'll come back, pick, a lot, pick up a lot more cards, and keep his business moving. So I'll start with this. It's a 1986 Fleer Kevin McHale. Really nice card. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer. It's not his rookie card at all, but for $5. Um, I feel like any card in this set is very iconic, considered vintage, and uh, McHale is a Hall of Famer. Uh, for the Boston fans, he'd be a legend. So I think for $5, it's a really good pickup. I plan to hold that for the personal collection. And then a lot of these stuff I'll go through. Ezekiel Elliott picked it up because it was a color match. It's a pretty nice card. He's a, he's a, just a solid Texan Cowboys fan. Would love that card. Shy Gilius Alexander, Panini's Contenders. This kind of card is not too cool in my opinion, but I did like the color match with the Kentucky jersey. And I'm not sure what kind of foil this is, but it's got a little like starish background which was pretty nice probably won't sell but just a nice binder card right here we got missy franklin very uh, pres uh i was about to say prestigious but very great uh olympian got a couple gold med gold medals under her belt pretty nice card I definitely want to build my olympic swimming collection a little bit got the jason and terry rookie card for the mavericks fans out there Pretty solid player. These two I kind of just threw in because I I suspected that I'd get a good deal. So Pete Alonzo and Ty Jerome. These probably aren't worth too much, but if I get if they turn out to be very great players, it'll be worthwhile. QG Fu Fujikawa. So this guy's not a crazy player at all, but uh, I actually uh, saw him when he was in Japan. I have his Japanese card. He's part of the Hanshin Tigers. So it's pretty cool that he made it to the US. And just a rookie card, Bowman Chrome, Refractory. It's really nice. Got this Kendrick Perkins rookie, same year as LeBron's rookie. Pretty nice card. Uh, Kendrick Perkins, part of that 08, 09 uh, championship team. Tyler Wade, uh, he's a, I believe he's a, he's kind of like a second shortstop third baseman. 
Uh, he started off in the Yankees, moved to the Angels. I don't know if he's still there, but just a role player. Thought I'd just pick it up because it's pink and it's a rookie. Pretty cool. Ryan Kelly. Uh, he's just I just know him from that meme with Kobe. Kobe's like, you ain't going to do nothing. And he ends up making the final shots or something like that. Just a nice pickup for nice just a nice rookie for five cents. JJ Watt, pink refractor. Kind of felt like it was a kind of a color match. I know he's one of those defensive players. Pretty cool. Matt Forte, nice, nice uh, refractor. And also numbered. It's numbered in 999, which is pretty high. But I was thinking, uh, just nice PC card. And if I uh, get a huge bundle of Matt Forte or 40 or his cards. This is something I could throw into the bundle and definitely make it worth more with five cents. You know, it's pretty nice. This is a Joe Montana comic e card. I've never seen this. I thought it was really cool for five cents. Way worth it. Um, Illustrator cards. It's an official NFL classic. Never seen this kind of card before, but I guess I'll be on the lookout for this kind of stuff. Um, I know Marvel cards do well, so it's kind of in that similar realm. And Joe Montana is a legend, so for any Joe Montana collector, that would be a very nice piece. John Lester, when I was playing 2K8, Red Sox were my team. And he was a, a top three pitcher for the Red Sox. Just a nice orange. Thought it was nice. Uh, Landry Shamit, uh, not, not really a superstar, but pretty cool player. Uh, red, white, and blue color match. I thought that was really cool, and that's pretty much the reason I picked it up. We got the red, white, and blue Jared Goff. Sim similar reason. Not a super crazy player, but a nice card and a sort of a color match. So, I mean, if these players end up becoming really good, so something like this would be worth four or five bucks. But for five cents can't really complain about picking up these and it's just nice to have a colorful binder got a color match red jj watt again it's the second one uh just thought he was a just know he's a really good player and just i like that color match another color match gordon hayward donruss green and the yellow it's pretty cool roger rondo played for the lakers a bit one of my favorite players so which is an orange refractor it's pretty nice alan Gin ginther weaver card nothing too special but just another weaver for the pc and a wiggins uh just the nice refractor so i mean these cards are stuff like i wouldn't pick up for like even like 50 cents or something but for 10 cents or less or something like that just a nice card if i want to sell it in the future i could definitely throw it in a lot helps help move it but pretty happy about my pickups definitely the pickup of the day is just going to be this um this i actually like more than this but this is from frankincense uh it's actually my first single card I think I picked up from Frankenstein's. I usually don't find any cool cards like this, so it was just a rare occasion. Um, definitely will be checking it out once in a while, because I like to go there to pick up my top loaders and stuff like that. So I was pleasantly surprised with the 7 of 7. Going to be on the lookout for these kind of things that are on these value boxes. So... Really can't complain. This in total was a seven dollar or eight dollar pickup, so pretty cool. So if you enjoyed the video, I'll probably come out with a couple more. Have a good day.